way back in time, the time of the great flood, the Sami, the Laps took refuge in a cave high in the mountains, but the waters rose and they rose and they rose and they were about to pour into the cave and all the Sami were to be drowned when a spider wove a web so fine and so strong it held back the waters and in gratitude to that harsh land the Sami, the Laps have lived there ever since and in gratitude to the spider they have never killed a spider since that day now I collected that story in Lapland in 1998 from two girls at a bar at two o'clock in the morning up at Luasta and because they didn't speak very good English I went to another woman who had been giving me stories and just to check that I got the story right and she said no she didn't know of that story but she did know of a superstition that if ever you killed a spider there would be torrential rain. Now I'd always had trouble collecting stories. I could listen to other professional storytellers and remember the story, but, uh, but if people just told me a story, I, I, I found it very difficult to remember until one day. And I've been staying up with the greatest storyteller of them all, Duncan Williamson, in his cottage in Scotland. He told me, well, wonder tales, you can play around, but folk tales, they belong to families, and you must never alter them, and with that I didn't try and embellish, I took the story as, is, as it was, and really, every time you met Duncan, you got yourself some wonderful advice, he was truly the father of all storytellers.